Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I'm loving the sit down videos that I have been doing, oh, to be honest, I've been loving it. I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm doing great as you can see. Today's video is quite exciting. I have been looking forward to actually filming this video today for you guys. And just as the title says or does not say, this video will be a video on my best kept secrets on how I stay looking good in my 30s okay because i got a lot of questions i got a lot of compliments i got a lot of you know curious comments on wow you're 34 you don't look 34 you look younger you look 25 you look 27 you look 28 i've been getting that a lot since my birthday so i decided you know what i'll do a video on my best kept secrets on how i stay looking like this okay ageless at 34 and this might be secrets or not because i feel like to be honest everybody is supposed to know this literally every woman is supposed to know this in the alive so this is just me coming out here to highlight them for you guys does that make any sense all right so let's just get right into this we don't have time to waste okay we want to stay looking good no matter how old we are so let's get right into this video I've been waiting all night all right so first things first as always and i'm sure that you guys already would know this at this point it sounds so cliche but anyway that is like the number one thing to note my number one secret to looking like this mm, in my 30s is a good skincare routine i know that this is very cliche but you guys a good skincare routine you cannot trust me nothing beats it okay if you're like me and to be honest you don't like so many steps when it comes to skincare i feel like if you go with the three-way skincare routine the popular three-way skincare routine you are going to be good which is cleanse tone and moisturize period cleanse with a good cleanser wash your face with a good facial wash tone with a good toner and moisturize your face and keep it going like if you have good skin i feel like that is the sure way to go in maintaining your skin an easy peasy skincare routine but aside obviously cleansing toning and moisturizing i feel like you need to take off your makeup properly i see a lot of people who just use wipes and just take off their makeup wipes alone cannot take off your makeup and the more you sleep with streaks of makeup on your face every other day the more aged your face will look with time so i feel like take off your makeup properly use a nice cleansing balm or you know even if you use wipes make sure you go in and still like double cleanse with a facial wash or a cleanser that will get everything off use micellar cleansing water if you have to i feel like the cleansing process for me is the most important you know part of skincare routine and as a woman in her 30s i do not skip this like trust me i do not skip this i always will double cleanse each day i've had makeup on and it really really helps my skin staying youthful and staying young you know so yes i would say adopt a very good skincare routine next up when it comes to makeup i keep my makeup youthful and pretty yes you don't see me doing drag queen makeup you don't see me doing very dark brows with very super colorful eyeshadow and lashes that are getting to the ceiling no those things just end up making you look older than you actually are so for me i go with like simple fresh youthful makeup i may wear lashes like i'm doing right now but they are just enough to you know make my eyes pop when it comes to color i like to go with my neutral colors so you guys would have seen me wearing a lot of golds i wear a lot of golds i wear a lot of you know neutral toned down colors i wear my pop of color every now and again but not all the time and even if i do very little on the eyelids i will not put popular shadow all the way up to this place no you will not catch me doing that that's drag queen makeup okay so the more youthful simple and fresh your makeup looks the younger you look does that make any sense yes it does even when it comes to lip products i've been tilting a lot more towards lip glosses than a matte liquid lipsticks even if i use a matte liquid lipstick i would always top off with a lip gloss because i feel like lip glosses have a way of making your lips just look inviting and sweet and you know not dry and chipped and cracked does that make sense so i feel like yeah lip glosses also help in making you look younger and obviously more dewy foundations than matte foundations i still have my matte foundations but i always tend to mix them them now these days with more dewy finished foundations and overall it makes my skin look a lot more useful than when i use like a proper matte foundation because all that will do is just you know make your skin look crackly and when your makeup begins to break up you look like an old woman so yeah stick to you know dewy foundations or even if you want to use your matte you can actually mix them with your dewy foundations 
all right next up is that my hair always looks put together you guys would have noticed this even the cornrows i have under my hair matters to me a lot because trust me it's not every single time i put on a wig i have times i'm running on errands i'm doing things and i don't wear a wig i just wear you know my cornrows under so my hair always looks good um if your hair is looking old you will look older if your hair does not look straightened you will look older if your coily hair is not coily again it's just turning on your own you will look older i feel like if you just put yourself together you look more put together you look younger so my hair my hair always always looks put together that's very very important whether it's your natural hair or whether it's your wigs or your braids it goes for everything the older your hair looks the older you look point blank period okay the next thing sunscreen is a must and this is something that i have struggled with for quite some time to be honest i'm not really that everyday sunscreen girl because it's not every day i actually go out under the sun but then my moisturizer actually has spf so if you don't really want to like tilt towards like proper sunscreens you can actually opt for a moisturizer that has good spf in it so yeah spf is very important it protects your skin against the sun rays and obviously if you don't protect your skin against the sun rays your skin would age especially if you're the one that goes out every single day your skin will age quicker if you don't use sunscreen so try to adopt a sunscreen into your daily routine next up i wear what flatters me i've said this before i know my body type i know what works for me i know that i'm insecure about my belly so you will not really catch me wearing very form-fitted things except recently because i'm trying to be sexy okay but aside that most times most times i dress for my body type if i must wear a fitted cloth i must wrap my stomach very well yes i must feel confident in what i am wearing why because if you don't wear clothes that fit you you tend to look old and frumpy and you know look much older than you actually are if you dress for your body type you would definitely look your age or younger i wear what flatters me i wear what works for my skin tone i wear what makes my body pop my skin pop right so that when i enter a place they'll be like oh wow somebody just walked in right so always wear what looks good on your body go for colors that you know look good on you super duper important next thing next thing my teeth are steady looking white yes I have never whitened my teeth ever 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 in my life i think i've just been lucky when it comes to my teeth i don't really do much i just use a very good toothpaste and i'm good to go i have never whitened my teeth in my life and i know i've gotten compliments and comments here on this channel that my teeth actually look very white but i don't do anything in particular i would say that a good toothpaste just helps over time it may not be immediate but you know it helps over time right so if you're having problems with maintaining your teeth you know making them look a bit bright opt for like whitening toothpaste or toothpaste that's focused on you know whitening your teeth over time that would help if your case is very very bad and you want to opt for proper dental care then you can opt for teeth whitening if you want that but i feel like the whiter your teeth the younger you look the yellower your teeth the older you look that's just it next up i don't drink excessively and i don't smoke because why those things age you with time i drink oh wait hold up i drink socially a glass of wine every other night or i go out with my friends or go out for somebody's birthday or something i drink but i don't drink to the point that i have drank and my body knows i have drank today i don't drink to stupor i don't drink to lose my home training i don't smoke because i mean especially when it comes to cigarettes and things that have nicotine in them because they age you okay whether you like it or not if you are a chain smoker you will age it's, it's it's a science okay your skin will age so i don't smoke i drink socially i don't drink to the point where they know me as a drunkard bah. those things contribute to how you look outwardly if you're smoking quit smoking all right and if you drink drink socially like me every now and again but don't drink don't sit down in your house and finish one whole bottle of wine or one whole bottle of tequila or gin only you mm -mm, no it's not good for your body it's not good for your liver even aside your skin and aside looking old it's not good for your liver and smoking is not good for your lungs so yeah if you want to live long don't do those things all right so next up i honestly cut down my food portions and i'm sure some of you noticed that i actually lost a bit of weight i didn't do anything 
fantastic i didn't do anything knowingly i didn't plan anything it just happened and i feel like for me what worked for me was cutting down my food portions right now to be honest i eat like one major meal a day i don't really eat breakfast even if i eat breakfast maybe like something very small and i would eat like a major meal in the afternoon and you may not really catch me eating dinner i may snack here and there maybe snack on one or two things but nothing crazy and somehow i've trained my body unknowingly i've trained my body to get you to that routine so i cut my food portions and cutting my food portions means i'm not as big as i used to be i've lost a couple of pounds a couple of kilograms and i mean i feel like if you if you lose a little bit of weight you tend to look good right so that works as well next up and almost kind of related to that is that i stay active you guys know this already i'm constantly staying active i don't just lay around doing nothing if i lay around for too long doing nothing my body will tell me oh my get up and do something that's just it but i don't lay around doing absolutely nothing i always try to stay active i see that i don't have any things to do today i'll go and run errands i'll do something i'll stay active because staying active keeps your body working and automatically keeps you looking healthier keeps you looking younger and fresher that's just me okay all right stay active next up i love my sleep i don't play with my sleep guys and because i don't play with my sleep i have found out that i have backtracked with regards to watching youtube videos i don't even watch that many youtube videos like i used to because most times when i have time to watch youtube videos is at night when i should be sleeping so i have been slacking when it comes to catching up on my favorite youtubers i don't even have the time to reply my youtube comments anymore because i'm prioritizing my sleep i usually do that in the middle of the night or you know when i should be sleeping and since i began to prioritize my sleep i don't really have the time to do any of those things like the way i used to so pardon me if you guys have noticed but i've been cherishing my sleep a lot after a long day of work or doing whatever all i want to do at night is to sleep maybe i would just watch a movie to you know unwind and then just go to bed right after before midnight these days i've slept before 3 a.m i'm awake but now i have been prioritizing my sleep so much and it's telling on me when you look at me you can see that i'm well rested so i would say get you some good sleep is super duper important next up next up and very very important i manage stress we all have things that are not going our way in our lives we all have things that stress us on a daily basis as moms as wives as women in general everybody has their daily struggles but i feel like for me i find a way to manage stress one thing i've been learning to do is not allow stress to get in the way of me living my best life okay i have been managing stress the best way i know how i I have been managing stress the best way i know how i have things that worry me every now and again but i just don't allow those things to you know affect my outward appearance so even if i have things bothering me you won't see me come up here you know wailing about it crying about it i just try to put up a happy face i just try to be happy and deal with my issues in private so yeah i tend to manage stress a lot and you should too if you don't want to get old fast manage stress all right and then last but not least and almost kind of related to that i have a very positive outlook on life it's super duper important like i said before i don't wear my problems on my sleeve okay because if i wear my problems on my sleeve hey i will look like i'm 60 years old okay i smile more i'm always laughing i'm always happy i try to be happy i find the happy things in life the things that make me happy i try to do them a lot more often i love having a good time and a good time makes me happy in a nutshell i just like to do things that make me happy things that make me smile all right it's super duper important stop squeezing your face yes you auntie stop squeezing your face squeezing your face squeezing. stop squeezing your face because the more you squeeze your face the older you look okay smile more be happy all right all right so that's all i have for you guys in this video hope you guys enjoyed watching and hope you picked a thing or two about how to stay looking younger stay looking healthier in your 30s don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed for more videos like this um thumbs up as well comment in the comment section below i will try to reply as many as i can and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye